Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Now in the last tutorial we talked about some navigation tools here in Photoshop and today we're going to look at selection tools in Photoshop. And the first one is the move tool. Now that's the one I've been using. This is the move tool. And to use, to use the move tool, you just click on something and move it. Now I can click on this image and move it around. Move the same with this one. Then you just click on it and you move it. Now this is made possible by the controls over here. And if you can look at the control panel, we have the auto select command and it's on. And if I turn that off, I can't select, uh, I can't move an image. Now let's try moving this one. I can't move this image without having selected it from over here first. So I have to select that layer, then I'll be able to move the image. Likewise, with this one, I have to select the layer first, then I'll be able to move it. But if you don't want to have that setting uh, to work that way, you can just come up here to the control panel and turn the auto select command on. Now you can just auto select from here without having to go to the layers panel to check or to select a certain image or layer. Now, I want to select this background, but I can't. This is because it is locked. Now, to unlock it, you just press on this icon. And now it's a layer, it's a normal layer like the others. Now I can move it around, as you can see. I can move it around as well as the other layers. And I can select it. Likewise, to this image I have over here, I can't move it around. And this is because it's a background layer and it's locked. I have to convert it into a normal layer to be able to move it around or change it that mode or blending mode or the opacity as you can see from over here. So I'll click on convert to normal layer and then it will be converted to a normal layer. Now from here, I'll be able to move it around and make all the changes I want to it. Now, it's hard to tell uh, when I've clicked on an object whether it's on. Now, if you want to know that you have like you know to show the you have selected an item you can come back to the control panel and turn this show transform controls command on now if i turn that on if i select this image it will show that the show transform the transform controls will turn on and they'll show me that i've selected that layer if i select another layer these controls will show me that i selected that current layer now, if you want to turn it off, you just come back over here and uncheck that box, and there they go. Now, the next type of selection tools are the marquee selection tools. Here they are. Now, we have four of them. We have the rectangular one, the elliptical one, single row, and single column. Now, to select something with one of these, all you need to do is click. In fact, now I'll select the first one. Just click and drag and you'll have selected something now you can copy and paste it or do whatever you want to do it and if you want to deselect a certain selection that you made all you have to do is press ctrl d on your pc and you'll have deselected your selection then we have the ellipses if i come back over here again we have the elliptical marquee tool if i select that if i drag it out it will form an ellipsis, but if I want it to be a perfect circle, you just hold down the shift key, and then as you can see, it will form a perfect circle for you. And you uh, can hit the space bar and move it wherever I want. Here you go. Let's say I want to place it over here, there, and that is the selection. Again, if you want to deselect, that selection, all you have to do is press Ctrl D and it will be select. Then we have the lasso tools. Now, this is very easy. You just click anywhere you want to make the selection and then you just click all the way. I want to make a selection of this corner of the box. All I have to do is click all the way around it until I get the whole box covered like that. And then go back to where you started. And that's how you make a selection using the lasso tool. And let's say you click the wrong place. So let me make another selection. Then say I click uh, the wrong place and I want to go back. All you have to do is press the B 
delete key on your keyboard and it will take you a step back and then you can continue with your selection again if you made the wrong selection let's say made the wrong selection instead of going straight all you have to do is press the delete key on your keyboard and then it will take you a step back and now you can continue with your selection then go all the way to the beginning and then it will close off that selection for you to deselect control d and it's that easy then we have the quick selection tool over here we have these three we have the object selection tool quick selection tool and the magic one tool now the most important one here is the quick selection tool now let me show you how that works if I select that, okay, I'll come back over here and select the quick selection tool. Now, the quick selection tool will automatically uh, select the edges of your image. Now, let's say I want to select uh, the cake. All I have to do is just click and it will automatically select the cake for me. Though it makes selecting things in Photoshop way, way easier like that i'll just add in the flowers a bit of cake over here perfect and it made a perfect selection for me now if i wanted i can copy and paste it or i can do whatever i wanted with that layer uh, maybe put it on a new layer but this is a pretty cool tool to use it will make selecting objects in photoshop very very easier